A couple videos ago, I suggested putting a camera on Roberto Luongo's helmet and putting advertising on Dustin Bufflin's butt. Well, now that Chicago has a 3-1 series lead, I'm happy to announce that I'M A MILLIONAIRE! But all the money in the world couldn't stop my voice from squeaking like that. Heading into Game 3 against the Canucks, Dustin Bufflin was tied for the Toronto Maple Leafs lead in playoff points with zero. In game 3, he gets a hat trick. In Game 4, he gets an assist. And Luongo gets a migraine. I want to ask Canuck fans something because it just breaks my heart. Remember just a few years ago, the Canucks are still making the playoffs, but the goaltending is just not getting it done. So fans said, if if only we had a goalie! And then you got this guy, and then he got this thing, and then the Blackhawks scored 16 goals in three games. Ouch. I thought the Canucks were supposed to be out for justice this year. Oh wait, that's the Penguin shirt that doesn't make sense. And who would have thought that after four games, the Montreal Canadiens would be tied with the Pittsburgh Penguins? Put your hands down, Habs fans. Y'all look just as surprised as everyone else. And everyone's been calling out the scoring, or lack thereof, of Malkin and Crosby. But come on, it's the Penguins. They got other guys. Alex Ponikarovsky, trade deadline acquisition. Just one assist and minus two this series. Has he been put in to more of a shutdown role? Yes. But as the Leaf, 10 goals, 15 assists for 25 points in 38 career games against the Habs. But he's just an example, just saying the Pens need scoring from other guys. In game four, Talbot and Kunit scored. That's a good start. And the Habs still won. And tell me you guys saw what PK Subban said after scoring his first career NHL goal. He goes, yeah, we'll worry about that after we win the Stanley Cup. Don't Alfredson this up, PK. You're doing well. Heading back out west, the Sharks have swept the Detroit Red Wings in four games. Or I think they did. Let me just check the- Holy crap! Bertuzzi had five- Is this from 2000? Well, the Sharks were on the verge of sweeping the Red Wings, and then they sharked it up by losing 7-1. to one. Johan Franzen with four goals, two assists for six points. Bertuzzi gets a goal and four helpers for five. If the Wings came back to win this in seven, would anyone be surprised? Third team in history to pull it off, and everyone would just be like, well, yeah, it's May. Wings dominating, Sharks choking, sounds right. Now, I don't think the Wings can do that again with game five being in San Jose, but I wouldn't be shocked. And finally, the Flyers stave off the four-game sweep. Broom sales have plummeted. In fact, we might go through the whole playoffs without a sweep. Weep. I ain't complaining, that's awesome. In game four, Chris Pronger played like the leader he is. And for the Bruins, Mark Recchi is old enough to be some of his teammates' dad. Go clean your room! Mark, that's Milan Lucic. I know who it is! But the most important thing we have learned from this series, if a guy's returning from a long-term injury and it's overtime, pass to him. Mark Zavard in game one, Gagne in game four. It is vital that the Bruins win game five in Boston, because they can get some much-needed rest while the Penguins and Canadians are in an all-out war. But tell that to the Flyers. Now for the World Hockey Championship. Hockey fans in Germany packed a soccer stadium to watch Germany beat the States 2 to 1 in overtime. The amount of fans on hand, are you ready for this? About 77,000. That is a record for hockey. Holy shout out to the German fans. That was insane. And it'll be interesting to see how hockey develops in Germany over the next few years. And now it's up to Canada to build a stadium that can hold 78,000. But that's it for now. Don't forget to go to MapleLeafs.com and vote each and every day for my Leaf Space Play of the Day. Add me to Facebook. Steve Dangle's not a common name. Add me to Twitter. Steve underscore Dangle. And we'll see who moves on to round three with the next video coming on Wednesday.